So in this video, we're going to be talking about DNA replication and how it occurs. And so remember, it's important to replicate the DNA before we undergo mitosis. This is because you want enough DNA for two cells instead of one. So now let's talk about how DNA replication occurs. Well, the first step that is going to happen in DNA replication is you're going to unzip and essentially separate the two strands of DNA. So as we see over here, these are the two strands of DNA and we want to separate them. So this little triangle over here is called helicase. And helicase is the enzyme that essentially unzips the parent molecule and it breaks the hydrogen bonds between the bases. So then once you expose the bases, you're going to use the sequence of bases on the separated strands, and that serves as a template to essentially create the new complementary set of bases. So as you can see over here, we have the unzipped one, and then over here in green, that's the new strand being synthesized. And so remember, this way of replication is called the semi-conservative model. And so remember, that means that one half of the new molecule of DNA is old, and then the other half is new. So as we can see over here, the green one, the green half is the new one, and the yellow half is the old one. Okay, so back to the process of DNA replication. So after helicase unzips the DNA, we're going to have an enzyme called DNA primase. So this is this little blue thing over here. And the reason you need the DNA primase is because you need essentially a couple pieces of RNA nucleotides for DNA polymerase to work. And so once we get into more of the biochemistry, we're going to explain why this is the case. But for now, all you need to know is that you first need an RNA primer to begin DNA replication. And this RNA primer, as you can see right here, it's pointing to this RNA primer. This RNA primer is needed for DNA polymerase to work. And DNA polymerase is the enzyme that begins to create the other strand of DNA. Also, another important molecule or protein in this process is called single-stranded binding proteins. So there are these little purple balls over here. And so those little purple balls, essentially what they do is they bind to the separated strands of DNA and make sure that they don't come back together. Because if the two strands of DNA came back together, you would not be able to continue with DNA replication. Another enzyme that I want to talk about is this enzyme over here in green. It's called topoisomerase. So topoisomerase essentially helps prevent supercoiling of the DNA molecule. And now you might ask, what exactly is supercoiling? Well, let's imagine you have a piece of string and I'm sure you've done this before, where you tried to take apart a piece of string. And this big piece of string is made up of a bunch of little pieces of string. And so if you take the little pieces of string and essentially pull them apart, and you're gonna see that it creates tighter coils when you pull them apart. And so if you pull too much, it can cause something to break. And in this situation, we have DNA, so we, don't, we really don't want the DNA to break. And so the topoisomerase will help reduce the supercoiling. And so it'll help relieve the tension that is created when you unzip the DNA. Lastly, it's important to just briefly mention that the DNA polymerase has to add or synthesize the new strand of DNA in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. And so that means that one side of the DNA, because they're anti-parallel, one side is going to run through really well. So one side is going to be continuously synthesized, as you can see over here, the leading strand. So the side that is continuously synthesized by DNA polymerase 
is called the leading strand. And then the other strand is called the lagging strand. So you have to synthesize this strand in segments. And then the segments are called Okazaki fragments. And then eventually, in the end, you have to connect the fragments using a enzyme called DNA ligase. And that pretty much sums it up for DNA replication. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. Comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.